Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to cover a couple of things. We're going to cover what we did before we went out onto the water, and then I'll show you some video in the end of what we did on the water. You don't want to miss this. All right guys, so let's start with the first part. Before we headed out on the water this weekend, I logged into the computer and I went to that MB Lakes, just like I showed you in those videos there a couple, uh, a couple of videos ago. Um, and I'll show you exactly what we did. So we'll jump on the laptop here and we'll show you what I looked at. So jumping in here, I jump onto my MB Lakes link here. The lake that we went to this week was Harvey Lake. So I'm gonna go down to Harvey Lake. There's Harvey Lake right there. And it pulls up all the information that the, um, that the province has given us. Just gonna zoom in there a little bit. And now I'll show you. So first off, the, the front page here, this just shows you where Harvey Lake is. It's shown by the star right here. You can see where Harvey Lake is in relation to the rest of the, uh, the, the, rest of the province. Go a little bit further down. The next thing it shows you is what species, uh, both uh, sport and non-sport fish, that are available in this lake. Now, this is a little trick for you to remember. So although we're going for smallmouth bass, and you can see here that it says sport fish that's present right there, it says smallmouth bass. But take a look down here, the non-sport fish, and take a look at what else is available in that lake. And the reason why I say to look at the non-sport fish that are available in that lake is because that'll give you a good idea as to what the bass are in there possibly eating. So for example, if you go down here and you see smelt, good chance that those bass are feeding on the smelt in that lake. All right, so that gives you a chance to go, you know, into the Google search, Google search on the smelt, see what color they are. You can see that they're like a silver and a black on the top, right? And that gives you a good idea what colors to use on the lake because that's what the fish are already there feeding on. So that's a good tip for you there. So we'll move further down. You get an overview of the lake here. Each one of those little points with a number, that's how many meters deep it is in those places. I find that a little hard to read. So I'm gonna move further down to the contour lines. Okay, so here's the contour lines for the lake. Uh, this gives you a good idea of the depths uh, at various spots in the lake, of course. I move a little further down. I find this a little bit easier to read. They've color shaded. And as you can see from the map here, the darker blue spots, that's deeper areas, and then these lighter spots are big flats, all right? So when you go to Harvey Lake, see where I put the cursor right here? This is the boat launch area. This is where we launch from, and then it comes straight out of this bay. So as you can see, when you come out of this bay, there's a big flat area here in the right and a couple of flat areas here in the left. So this is what we went looking for this weekend. I wanted to go check out these flat areas because you can see that it's a little darker here in between. So there's a little bit of a saddle there. So we thought we might go look at, uh, at that as a possibility. Then we wanted to go look at this deep hole here. This dark blue is a very deep hole. And then we figured since it was spring, we think that they spawn in this back area somewhere. So we thought, well, if they winter in the deep and they move up to these areas here, these flats maybe, maybe they move up to this point and then they move in here, it's a little bit deeper on this side, and then it's shallower on this side. So we went in there and we checked all those places. All right, but this is a really good way for you to use, you know, something that the, the province has already given us. You go online and you make a little bit of a game plan. That way you're saving time out there on the water. You know exactly where you're going, or at least where you're going to start. Um, and then, you know, like I said, that can save you some time on the water. All right, so, um, without further ado, we're going to jump into the, uh, the footage on the lake and we'll show you what we did.
So there you go, guys. A little bit of the video of the success that we had out there this weekend. You saw my youngest daughter there, uh, you know, getting her own fish and uh, getting the hook out, popping it out there. Um, and we obviously need a little bit of an extender there to get that, uh, that fuzzy bunny, I call it, on the mic uh, to get that out of the picture. So we're working on that. So, but that's the success that we had at uh, Harvey Lake this weekend. And that gives you an idea of what we do to, uh, like before we head out onto the water. Uh, and then we just follow through with our plan and enjoy ourselves out there on the water. So until next time, we'll see you on the water.